Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are testing out the maximum distance of the HS720G. Now unlike the HS600, the Ruko F11 GIM2, the SJRC F11S 4K Pro, and the SJRC F7 4K Pro, the HS720G does not have the relay transmitter to give it that amazing three kilometer distance for both the Wi-Fi FPV and the control distance. Now the HS720G is said to have just 999 meters instead. But in the phone app, the distance setting has an infinity symbol for the maximum distance. So we are here today to test out what the infinity symbol represents. Does it reach and stop at 999 meters or go beyond so everything here is stock there's no modification done whatsoever the only thing is we are using a 5.8 gigahertz all-in-one vtx for the fpv instead of the wi-fi fpv signal and i'll be using the headplay se goggles here for the fpv all right guys so here we go but before we get started with the distance test we're gonna check out the Addy mode or the sport mode on this quadcopter. I forgot to do that on the review video. So we are in GPS mode at the moment. So when I let go of the sticks, it'll come to a hover, GPS hold position. Now let's go ahead and turn off GPS. So as you can see, it is starting to drift a little bit. There's barely any wind here, but let's go ahead and forward pitch and let go it continues to travel for a little bit. Now there is an optical flow sensor. So when I let go of the sticks, it will still try to lock horizontal position as you can see. That is the optical flow sensor working. So you can fly this thing indoors and still have position hold and do turn off GPS when you are flying indoors because you don't want GPS position hold indoors. You want to fly it in sport mode or the Addy mode. And it does fly a little bit nicer too in this mode. This is speed number one. And now it's speed number two. So it's a little smoother flying. So when you let go of the sticks, it will travel for a little while. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it in, attach the all-in-one VTX and go for that distance test. All right guys, so here we go. There I am. Let's get going. Going to speed number two. All right, here we go. We are on GPS mode, but just to show you guys, I'm gonna turn GPS off. So we are in non GPS mode, Addy mode or sport mode, if you wanna call it that. So let's go and head on towards the valley here. All right, here we go. Coming towards the utility poles, which is about 500 meters. And let me get some altitude so I don't bump into anything. My video is going in and out. I'm also recording on the Fat Shark, so hopefully the Fat Shark records everything as well. Yeah, I got a directional antenna, so I gotta put my head position better oh no it's starting to beep already and what is going on i'm not getting very good video signal okay here we go oh wow okay here we go here we go i got good signal now i'm continuing to press it and we are almost towards that Road, it's bobbing. Ah, uh, that's not good. Okay, it's continuously beeping. So 
return to home has kicked in, but I'm continuing to push it. I don't think it's, I'm not sure if it's moving forward or not. Looks like it's moving back. Yep. It's slowly starting to move back. All right, let me see if I can get out. Okay, I pressed the return home button and I got out, but it went right back in. No signal once again. Okay, it's going in and out is what it is doing. Okay. Come on, cross that line. Here we go. Here we go, we've crossed that line. So this thing has pretty good distance and my video is really staticky and I can't see nothing. Oh, there we go, we got it back. I'm continuing to push it. Now remember, I'm in Addy mode or non-GPS mode and I'm pushing it and it is still going. And we come to the other road which is pretty far already. And let me veer to the left a little bit. Don't want to be hitting no hill. <coughs> Don't want to be hitting no hills. <coughs> Excuse me. And my video is going in and out. <coughs> and I got no video. Just a little bit of video. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> nope, I'm not getting any video. I'm continuing to push it. I got some video back. Wow, we went pretty far. We went almost all the way towards the valley, to the inside of the valley. And I've got a little bit of video and now it is beeping. Okay, and I see that it is returning to home. All right, almost towards the end. All right, so here we go, measuring the distance. I was located right here. So let's go ahead and plot that point and measure distance. Let's zoom out. So I started from right there and we traveled right here. And there's the utility poles. That's about 500 meters. And we came to that first road. And we came to that second road right here. And on this map, it doesn't show you that structure, but this is the hill that I did not want to hit. And I started coughing and we came about here. So I'm going to mark it right here. And that is 1.3 miles or 2.09 kilometers. That was not bad at all. Check it out very nice distance on the HS720G. There you go, 2.09 kilometers. There's a little structure over there somebody has built. So very nice. I'm still pushing it forward with my pitch, but it is heading its way back. So there you go, guys. The maximum distance. Can I yaw? No, I'm una unable to yaw. There you go. I can yaw a little bit. It did respond to my yaw. Come on, a little bit more yaw. Nope. I am unable to yaw. So we're looking at the side view towards the sun. And now I'm getting good video. Perhaps the quadcopter's pitch was blocking the video reception. Okay, there we go guys. So this is proof that even in the non-GPS mode, the quadcopter still returns to home. Okay, it stopped beeping. Can I yell now? No. Oh, the beeping has resumed. And we are way out there. Y'all? Nope. No, y'all. Let me see if I can stop the return home. 
Nope, I am unable to stop the return to home process. And it is continuing to come home. Not bad at all. I still can't yaw, so I have no input whatsoever. Continuing to beep. Long pressing the return to home button, and I'm not getting anything. There's the utility pole, so I'm right about 500 meters now. So we went pretty far. It's still coming home. Okay, now it's working. Okay, now I've regained control of the quadcopter. So there you go, guys. Maximum distance of the Holystone HS720G. All right. And I'm flying it in non-GPS mode. Nice. All right. There I am. I was going towards the other guy. Woo! That is not bad at all. So when it says infinity, there you go, now I can hear it. It may it meant infinity. So you can go as far as it allows on a nice day on your location. And it all depends on the day as well, even though it's the same location, as I found out. Sometimes I get crummy distance over here, and sometimes I get really good distance. But this field is better than the rest. My other field where I test fly clock cutters sometimes don't have good distance, and there's lots of homes beyond a thousand meters. And over here, you can go a couple thousand meters without any obstruction. And it's in towards the valley. So the signal bounces off the mountains on both sides. So there you go, guys. So if I let go of the sticks, the quadcopter will st slowly come to a halt. But it will still resume flying. Like right now, it is still drifting a little bit until the optical flow sensor kicks in. So that is the optical flow sensor and the non-GPS mode. Addy mode or sport mode if you want to call it all those very very nice all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day right here and see if I can land where I took off from so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that GPS return to home button so hopefully it lands on the landing pad okay return to home has initiated this is all autonomous flying. And there you go. Coming down, eating some prop wash. And I think it's going to miss the landing pad by a lot, but it is still within the vicinity here. And there you go. That, that's where the landing pad was. <laughs> where it took off and it landed way over here. Alright, that'll do it for this video. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Pretty nice.